Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from visualnights.com. This video tutorial is a second part of a larger video tutorial from how to create a night model for a chess set. Now if you don't have this chess piece here, what we've created so far, please visit the first tutorial. Let's get started. Select your night's model, go to line and vertex. Now, as you can see, the surface modifier is no longer being applied. So click on this button here, which shows you the end result. Okay. Go to your geometry rollout, click on connect and on refine. Go to the top vertex of the night model and click on it. Um, you might get the message to connect or just refine. Uh, you have to click on connect. Now, we go down the back of the Knights model, as you can see. As you can see, all the patches here are being removed. Don't worry, when you right mouse click, there, they are being restored. Next thing we're going to do, select your Knights model, go to Modifier List, press S a couple of times till you reach Symmetry. Uh, select the Z axis, and as you can see now, we have this well, gorgeous. Well, we have a good model of a horse, but we're not done yet. Go back to the surface modifier. Again, click on modifier list and click on A, edit patch. When, once you've applied this modifier, click on edit patch and select all the back main patches. Press Alt-W for enabling all the four viewports. Click on the Extrude button and extrude the mains till you are satisfied with the size of the mains. We need to fine-tune the model a bit because it doesn't look great at the moment. When you deselect Edit Patch and click on Symmetry again, you can see that the mains do look do look a bit weird. Don't worry, we're going to fix that. Press T for top view. Go to edit patch. No, not to line. We don't want that. Really to edit patch. Click on vertex. Select these back vertices first and move them a bit to the middle line, which um, mirrors the knight's object. This one too. One, we're going back to um, perspective view, and once we deselect and see the symmetry here again, it doesn't look that great yet. So, we still need to edit this shape a little bit further. Turn on show end result. Um, select the one of the vertices on the top of the main and move them closer to your right so that you can weld the shapes together. Do that along the entire back. Now this can be a bit of a tricky job because 3D Max doesn't always want you to make a model. <laughs> At least that's my version. Okay, well, we succeeded with that. The top. And you think you're done, but I know from experience that the front, ah, yep, there it is. <clears throat> As you can see, we have this gaping hole here, and we need to close that. Select the upper vertex here, move it a bit to the right, okay. Um, and as you can see, we have um, made this upper vertex a Bezier corner, just so you're going to move this green vertex here to the precise middle here. That's one step, and then go back, go uh, one vertex lower. And as you can see, we have this uh, green vertex here sticking out all to the right. We don't need that. We want to drag this to the middle so we can also weld the front of the main together. And well, isn't that a beauty? Move that a little to the front, and voila, we have the shape of a knight. We're not done yet. We need to create the well, the base of the model, but that isn't too hard. I'm going to click on splines, 
select line um, oh don't forget to turn on two times smooth select begin in the middle of the base go down oh, this probably is not exact shape as you want it don't worry we're going to edit that a little bit close the spine yes go to the line go click on vertex select these two top lines oh, and this one on the bottom right click on them and click on Bezier corner I want to go down so that we can create a right line now you can edit this model just the way you want it I'm not going to add much time uh, spend much time on this I'm going to leave it this way um, all you need to do now is click on the modifier list press L for the left modifier click on weld core press on the Y direction and on minus and as you can see now we have a good round shape of the base um, we have to convert this by right mouse but right mouse click on it convert to editable mesh not poly yes um, click on attach and click on the horse and voila the shape of the chess piece from a knight thank you ready. for thank you for watching this video tutorial from visualnights.com you can download this model and the previous stages of this video tutorial and also video tutorial part one from our website entirely for free um, I hope to see you again and we hope to see you again bye bye